Okay, guys, today we're going to be working on our chapter two review. You may have noticed in your packet of math worksheets that I've skipped a few lessons. I skipped 2.8, which is patterns all around, and that is just shows you some different things where you can find patterns in nature, and there's really not a lot to that. Um, I also skipped staircase patterns, which really there's no point in messing with it. it's just coloring a box um, so I went ahead and skipped that and then I skipped the graph as well you are welcome to do those pages on your own but I didn't think it was necessary to um, make a lesson video for those so if you want to do those other activities for practice you may but we're gonna go ahead and skip on to the chapter review and so we can wrap up our chapter on patterns this is going to be our review for our test tomorrow um, we'll do this one together and then tomorrow I'll go over what you need to do for the test, but I'm not going to fill in the answers for you. Okay, so let's look at this. It says color. So you notice I have a pattern. Cardinal, blue jay, cardinal, blue jay, cardinal, blue jay. This is a very simple AB pattern. Okay, and I know that because it's just two things being repeated over and over again. So what I have to do is I have to color the pattern blocks to match the Blue Jays. And I'm just gonna color in the center of these just for the sake of time, okay? You don't need to see me coloring on the computer for five minutes, that's just probably a waste of your time, okay? So I have Cardinal, Blue Jay, Cardinal, Blue Jay, Cardinal, Blue Jay, okay? So it's a very simple red, blue, red, blue, and I colored the, the Lincoln Cubes to match the birds, okay? For the next activity, what they want me to do is they would like me to look at this and circle the patterns that are like. So the first thing I need to do is I need to identify what type of pattern I have. If I look at this one, it's red, red, brown, red, red, brown. So this is an A, A, B pattern, okay? And then you see it repeats itself. A, A, B. Now in here, I have acorn, acorn, squirrel, acorn, acorn, squirrel. Again, there's my A. The A repeats itself. And then my squirrel is my B. Now I don't have something new. I notice that the pattern repeats itself. So A, A, B. Down here, I have a hummingbird, flower, flower, hummingbird, flower, flower. So this time my hummingbird is A, but my next picture is something different. So this is my B. Well, then the B repeats itself, and then I go back to A. So this is an A, B, B pattern, and I need to circle the two that are like. So if I look back, I can see that the top two patterns are both A, A, B. All right. At the bottom, it says draw the pattern. So let me figure out this pattern. I have apple, orange, pear, apple, orange, pear. So I have an A, B, C pattern, correct? Yes. So what I need to do then is I need to draw that pattern. Okay, so my first one will be this apple. I'm going to color it in super nice when I have that fine line. It's really great drawing on the computer. It takes forever to color in something. Okay, so we'll pretend that's my apple. Not so good, but we'll just deal with it, okay? There's my apple. I don't have an orange, so I'm just going to use kind of a... No, that won't work. Ha! Ah, just kidding. Let's go with this color for my orange. And it's pretty light. You guys probably can't see that. Let me make it thicker, and then you can see it, okay? So here's my orange, and then with the pear, I'm going to have to go with the green because that's the closest color that I have to make the pear, okay? So with this, I have the A, B, C, all right? So what you're going to do is you're just going to figure out what the pattern is, and then you're going to complete it. You'll have to do the exact same thing on your test, perhaps with a different thing to draw. Turning your page over, it says copy 
the pattern. So what I'm going to do here to make your life and my life simple is we're just going to name this pattern, okay? So rather than copy it, I'm not going to draw rabbit, carrot, carrot. I'm going to just label it, and I'm still copying it because this is an A, and the carrot would be the B. Well, that B repeats itself, okay? And then, here we go, the pattern starts all over. So it's A, B, ooh, that B, B. All right, so what you'll do on your test is you'll just write down what type of pattern it is that they give you. When it says copy the pattern, you'll just write it down, okay? So this is an A, B, B pattern, and I need to write that down line, okay? At the very bottom, I have to color the pattern. So um, with mine, it's not going to be quite right because, unfortunately, I don't have these colors on the computer. Um, I have something similar but not perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the best I can, okay? So this is going to be my purplish color. Maybe, you know what I'll do. I'm going to color over this one so you guys know. So this is my beginning color, this purple. Mine's more bluish than purple. So the pattern is A, B, C, blue, pink, green. So here's my A. Okay. And I'm going to go down B, C. I don't have those. Here's my A. It comes again. Okay, and then A, B, C, and then it starts over right here, and this one's also blue, okay? So I've gotten all my A's colored. Now I need to switch to my B, which is the pink. So the pink comes afterwards. I need to color in the pink. And this one's going to be pink. And then this one is going to be pink. All right. And then my last would be the C, which is the green. So I need to fill in my greens. And when I get done with my pattern, I should see that I don't have any of the same two colors right up next to each other, okay? So blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, and then it just keeps repeating itself and repeating itself. Okay, so that's all you have to do to review our um, unit on patterns. This is a really easy unit, and I know that you can knock it out of the park. So go ahead and finish up, and tomorrow you're going to take the chapter checkup on chapter two, and when you're done, you can either um, do it on Google Slides and send it to me, or you can just do it on PDF and send it to me, or you can make a copy of your finished work, okay? Have a great day. Bye, guys.